It is time to bring in the man who is still going to bring us the hot weather today. Good morning there, Pat. Good morning, everyone. Second night in a row, working late uh, with the New York Mets. And, of course, all of that work Nothing. to no avail because they canceled the game as of like 9 o'clock. Right? Yeah, the second game. They got the first game in that they missed and they the won. other. And right. they won, but then they canceled the next game. Right. And, you know, uh, and I pretty much told them, you know, that I thought um, that once it started raining, it would rain till at least a quarter to 10. And it did. So uh, uh, that was probably a lot of lightning at the uh, stadium. So that's probably one of the reasons why they canceled it. Will they be lucky today? Because they have two games today. Starts at 12:10. Uh, I think they will. Uh, for us, hazy, hot, oppressively humid, maybe a thunderstorm, mid 90s. There's definitely a chance of a thunderstorm tonight, mid 70s. Partly sunny, low 90s, maybe a thunderstorm late Friday. Chance of a thunderstorm Saturday, near 90. And then finally, sunny, not as hot or humid, with a high of 80 on Sunday. Now, if you want to see an interesting video about lightning, uh, there's, if you Google, uh, Philadelphia Phillies baseball game lightning strike, an amazing video of a lightning strike near in Philadelphia. We've been lucky. All these storms have been going to the south of us. Yeah. Um, well, we have been. But places like City Field has not. No. Uh, that's why they're... Yeah, you know, uh, and it, it's so hard to, to try to figure out where these storms are going to line up. Now, today we're under a slight risk of severe. And tomorrow we're under a marginal risk of severe. And the same for Saturday. So let's see who winds up getting it. Because right now, if we were to take a look, I don't know if you have um, uh, a radar handy. Yeah, I'm looking but at it. If you look at the radar right now, uh, first of all, we have a, a line of showers and some thunderstorms that extends from about Utica down to what? I would say uh, uh, the Western Catskills. Yeah. And that's moving eastward now. Uh, there's a little bit of a concentrated area um, that I could see right now in the vicinity uh, between Cooperstown and what is it? Um, I would say let's let me get a little closer in. Um, the heaviest that I see actually is near Norwich going toward Oneida. Oh, no, Oneonta. Norwich, between Norwich and Oneonta, and that is moving eastward. That's the heaviest. There's another cell near Walton, and that's going to be moving eastward toward Kingston. We have some showers over northwest Connecticut, yeah. and uh, they're very, very, very light. They're moving east, but here's the big guns. Take a look at the radar from near Niagara Falls uh, and down across Lake Erie. Lots of reds already showing up. This is the area that will propagate eastward and produce severe weather today, first in northern and western New York State, and then it will move southeastward across the rest of the state tonight. So that is what we'll be watching uh, for today. i truthfully very tired of watching radar. Yeah, I could, I could, I could I imagine. No yeah. You know, interesting, yesterday afternoon, I thought we were going to get a thunderstorm. There was lots of rumbling of thunder in the back right. and dark clouds, but all of a sudden, they were gone. Yeah, they, they moved never, to your south. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I was really preparing for it. I mean, you know, you know took down the, uh, uh, the, uh, the umbrellas and stuff like that because you could hear the thunder and you could see the dark clouds, but didn't have to worry about it. No. And and it's and you know and they're they're very localized. Uh, this this area now looks to be more widespread. So I would doubt if a lot of us are going to miss this, uh, if not late today tonight. So uh, we'll be keeping you posted on that. I'm sure we'll be going under a um, severe thunderstorm watch. Almost positive about that. All right. And um, and aside from that, um, really that is about it. Everything else is just. Um, Moving right along, I told you they're delivering my propane refrigerator this Saturday up at the lake. Uh, so uh, hoping that I can get that hooked up this weekend and um, get back to s semi-normalcy. Now, did they there. install it when they deliver it? No, they do not install it. So you've got to have somebody there to install it. 
yeah, there is a guy across the lake who knows how to do that stuff, so he will install it. You would think that they would have uh, capable people on their staff that would install it, make it easier. No, no, they they don't do that. Uh, not with propane, anyhow. Maybe they would do it with natural gas or electric, uh, but I don't think with propane. So, um, you know, it's the, like I said up there, you know, they like, quote, the ambiance. But to me, uh, the ambiance is nothing but a pain. Yeah. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I was watching um, uh, TV uh, yesterday early in the evening. And there appears to be, uh, there's a movie coming up that I really want to see. I keep forgetting the name of it. It, it stars the guy who was in one of these really weird movies that I've seen. It's about a guy who, living in reality, but the whole thing's a video game. And I think it's uh, I think it's called, um, let's see, I, I can't remember the name. Guy. Guy. Uh, and uh, it really looks like it's going to be a good movie, unfortunately for me. Uh, I have to wait till it comes till it comes out in the theater, uh, and and when I take a look right now, where is this? When I take a look right now. It it, it appears like it's going to be at the at the movie house um, coming up. Let me see what I see here. Pop, pop, pop. Um, see, compared past notes. Also, good respect. Okay, free guy, free guy. Uh, and Pat, it looks like the type of movie you will enjoy. Okay. It's a, an action movie uh, that has a lot of humor in it, uh, and uh, and you'll recognize the, the the leading actors in in it as well. Free Guy, and yes, it is going to be at the at the movie house opening on Friday. So there we go. Okay. Yeah, I have you, a quick question for you. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can answer it. I'm just curious. Um, I, and I, I, you know, I always stay away from politics. But as I listen to the news and I hear about, you know, what's going on up there in Albany with, uh, with our governor, yeah. what I was curious about, I, nobody addressed it, maybe I missed it, um, why did this surface now? I mean, this seemed to be, you know, not present, all of this thing. How come it surfaced now? Because uh, if you look at any cases like this, look at Richard Nixon, uh, how long it took for Watergate to come Watergate. out. When yeah. you have a strong person... Look, look at all the things that happened under Donald Trump. When you have a strong person who is in firm control, and look at the Republican Party now. They're afraid of Donald Trump. He's got a power base. Mario Cuomo built a power base out of Albany. That went after conservatives, liberals, progressives. His philosophy was, if you're not with him, you're against him, no matter what it was. Right. So people were scared, and so... All of a sudden, when things that came out, the people that he treated poorly, and I'm not going to say that he sexually abused, but the people that he disrespected and treated poorly uh, and uh, finally got together and they had some strength. And also the attorney general of New York decided to pursue it and run a full investigation. Okay. That's why. Uh, that's why, you know, I, you know, it's a tragic end uh, to his political career. It mars the image of his dad. Uh, who was governor of New York. Uh, it puts his brother in a weird position as well on CNN. It's just one of those nightmare stories where uh, power yeah. seems to go to the head of some people and they just think they can get away with anything. And like yeah. I said, I'm not saying that he raped people or, or did or anything like that, but he obviously treated people lousy and wrong and mostly women. And uh, it came back to, to bite him in the Don't rear end, him, as, my, yeah. as my grandmother yeah. used to say. Right. Okay, so that's my well, take. That's my take on uh, on Governor Cuomo. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I can never run for a political office. Well, anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pat, we'll check with yes. you tomorrow and see what's going on. Yeah, keep cool, everybody. We will take care, Pat. Bye bye. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.